Oh yeah, before the actual commentary starts, I want to just point out, I suck at this game, so if you see me doing some dumb stuff, don't mind it, please. Alright, thanks. Hey there guys, what is up? It's your boy Soraka here, and for today, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I found different from high school and college, and one of the main things that I found different is that in college, there's less distractions, because I feel as if people who go to those college classes are there to learn and one of the main reasons for that is come on we all paid for our classes we don't want to go there and just mess around and in high school there's a lot of students that have gone to classes and I feel as if they don't even want to be there they're kind of forced to go there and because of that they just mess around in the class and other students who do want to learn don't get to learn as much because the teacher has to focus on them and try to stop them from being disruptive and if they don't do that they're still going to disrupt the class that makes sense right yeah all right moving on and then another thing that i found different is that the workload in high school is a lot less compared to college because in high school let's say for a math class usually the assignment is due the day after it's assigned and another thing would be like essays usually it's just three four five six yeah, that's really a bad estimate, but around that amount of pages. And then for college, let's say for my math class, we have a week to turn in two assignments and the workload on that is a lot more than high school. Another thing is essays. You have a lot of time for essays, but here in college, it has to be more, I don't know, I haven't written an essay yet, so I guess it's more detailed. There's more, there's more thought into the essay, not just a lot of random BS in, co in high school. I, I hope that made sense because in my head it does. Another thing, which is one of the main things that I found is that in high school, there's a lot of contact with your teacher because you see them virtually from Monday through Friday, every single day, unless there's a substitute or anything like that. And in a sense, you can build a friendship with the teacher. But then in college, usually you only see the professor, teacher, whatever you want to say. You usually only see them one to two times a week at best. And well, there are times when you can visit them. But think about it. There's a lot of there's a lot other students that do want to talk to the I don't know if people enjoy talking to their professors or not. I mean, it's nice to build a relationship with them because well, don't think of it as trying to make friends with your teacher just so you can pass the class because I highly doubt that would happen. You could be like the worst student but have the greatest relationship with a teacher or you could be one of the best students and have the worst relationship with your teacher. That does that make sense? I hope it does. And lastly, something that I found is that in high school when it comes to like dependency Students are usually told what to do like for an assignment or stuff like that and After you do that the teacher usually tells you if it's right or wrong what you need to do stuff like that But then in college you're pretty much on your own because the teacher isn't gonna tell you when it's the professor won't tell you when to study It's all up on you. You have to plan out plan out your days plan out when you're gonna study plan out when you're gonna have free time and how much time you're actually gonna put into the studying and you know all that good stuff but that's all for me guys and girls hopefully you guys like the video and peace out y'all